Давай, давай, давай. It takes me in the morning at this time, right at five o'clock, really about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to get to my parking spot at the, at the school. And uh, really, everybody always asks me how I like that drive, and uh, I really enjoy it. There hasn't been one day in this entire year that I haven't really just enjoyed the 25 minutes in and then the 25 minutes coming back. I think. Uh, for me, I enjoy to listen to things. I listen to, to podcast or ESPN radio, or honestly, there's a lot of days that I just sit here and don't have anything on and just think, you know, for, for me this morning, it's, we got a team meeting at 745 and um, we just had a day off yesterday. This will be practice three at training camp. We put on shoulder pads, uh, just gives me a time to kind of reflect and think about the day coming up and, and uh, what I'm going to talk to the team about. And so I enjoy this 25 minutes. It kind of gives me a chance to just get ready. And then the same thing on the way home, it kind of gives me a chance to just reflect and chill out. First quarter of the day is, is super important. And so we're right to it. Um, coaches are in there and, and you know, practice, the, the meetings before practice. Uh, the team meeting, I think the I love the the morning. We call it during training camp is uh, you know morning daily news. Set the day and what to expect. Are there any schedule changes? Uh, you know uh, anything important that's come up? And then we're right to special teams meetings, position meetings out on the field, practices. You got to relish those times. We only get 25 opportunities before we play our first game, so every single one of them is super important. As a leader, the amount of things that you have to uh, juggle on your schedule and being easily distracted, I've really tried to work on. So at the start of training camp, August 1st, I've only been going for like five days, but I deleted. Uh, Twitter and Facebook. So if you're a recruit and haven't got anything from me on Twitter lately, uh, so for the month of August, I'm, I'm not going to have Twitter on my phone. Don't get on there. And then the same thing for, for Facebook, just uh, really just focus in. I found myself too much. Just it was making me, making me, uh, you know, really reflect on spending too much time wasted and so just trying to get efficient with our time. Oh, oh, Ryan's already been in there. Honestly, Ryan's probably about, Ryan will be getting done in about 15 minutes. He gets here at like 4.15 every day. It's crazy. Dre, what's up? In, in here on the Versa Climber, you catch them in here, getting after it, trying to catch me on here. Coach James. Morning. Well, well welcome to my office. Uh, just got done working out, uh, changed clothes, uh, get up here at 6.30. thing I love most about the, uh, the office is after seven years of uh, being in the same spot, you start to accumulate a bunch of stuff. This is kind of my, uh, my domain where I don't get to do this at my own house. Alicia doesn't really let me have a room like this, so I just put whatever, wherever in here. And uh, that's why I like it. Obviously, I got my family, family wall, pictures of the girls as I sit here and just watch them film and whatever's happening, I can just glance up there and get a picture of all them and certain moments of uh, some big time Saluki moments, uh, just looking up there, pictures bring back a lot of memories. Of course, the, some of the great players that we've uh, coached here. Uh, and then I've tried to make my own little wildlife corner over here, some, uh, some, some ducks that we've killed over the last couple years, some pictures of some good hunts. Uh, killed that wood duck with, with Coach Roland. 
our offensive coordinator got a, a couple cool hunts up there that means something to, to my dad and I. So just try to create a space where you just feel like uh, feel like coming every day. So right now the plan is at 6:30 our team meetings at 7:45. Uh, I'm just going to get a few thoughts together and put my PowerPoint together for the team meeting and then um, walk down and get some breakfast, uh, grab a plate, probably see a few players. They, their, their routine is um, breakfast starts at, at 6.30. They have to be here by 7. The training room opens at 6.15 to get taped and ready to go. Um, whatever their routine is, that's what we talk about is establishing that routine, sticking to it every single day is they just have to be taped and ready to go and checked in by breakfast at 7 and be ready to go for the team meeting at 7.45. Then we're right to special teams position meetings and out on the field so they don't have time to to mess around in the locker room once they leave uh, position meetings. So uh, that's the outlook of the day and uh, I'm excited to kind of show you what our routine is over here with Saluki football. Mr. McVicker right here. HBO. This is the guy we already talked about 415. We didn't even see him in the weight room. He was already done and, and gone. It's crazy. <laughs> Chris actually sp spilled my coffee uh, on, in the car, so this is my first cup. We talk about this as coaches all the time. Uh, I got this thing. I, if I wanted to start a podcast, I wanted to call it the Pole Barn Podcast. Out in my pole barn, and I was talking to my buddy Tony Carter, who was the corners coach, about what the top five feelings of the world are. John, how we doing? What's going on? Heading to breakfast. Got my tape on. You ready to roll? Yep. You're an early tape guy? Yeah. But a cup of coffee is one. Might share a few others with you. The other one, when you got a world-class whitetail, you got a bow in your hand, he's walking by, there's not much better than that. Turkey goblin, big group of mallards coming in. Uh, those are some of my favorites. Besides my, my family and football, you know, we're talking off the field, away from the house. Got big Larry Bird right here. This is our little wing for all of our meals are served over here. Keenan. Mic'd up, they're following me around. You gotta say what's up to the camera. What's up, Chris? What time do you guys, what time do you guys wake up to get going? I was trying to tell the team. I get up at 1.30. 1.30? Yes. We guess 3 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. So what? Right, so you cook all this in the morning? Mm -hmm. So you, you get up at 1.30, get there, get it rolling. And I only cook the eggs and the hash browns. There's another person in a different part of the place that cooks everything else. Well, we appreciate it, that's for sure. You're very welcome. Um, they want to get the hip through, and then they're holding up for 1,001, 1,002, and then working, essentially. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, lock in. One day at a time, all right, taking care of our bodies, and we've got to maximize this four-day block. Not 25 practice or whatever, but we really, we're going to start getting more situations. All right, today, we're worried about normal down and distance. Okay, the first two days we're down in the red zone, high red, mid red, low red, right? We haven't put in goal line yet, which is really for us as offense inside the four yard line, okay, where, where teams really start to change their scheme, okay? So we're normal down and distance, and we've got another uh, carryover of some high red to finish practice, right? There's no, you, you get in the NFL and there's this new formula, of, and this man, this coach I got, got all these new secret drills. You know what I mean? They're doing the same drills that you guys are doing. There's no secrets out there, right? But when you listen to the great ones, it's about the attention to the smallest detail. Up, right? You're not ever gonna hand it off down here. Just nice and easy. This is the one. This, this was freshman year. Uh, early, so it was early in my second year. I know. Uh, next song that's coming. Y'all screw over. Say, man, push, I go, man. What you talking about? Push, I go. Sit. You push, I go, man. Here we go. Top. Here we go. Other hand. Other hand. Other hand. Here we go. Sit. Hey. Have some confidence out here, man. Cut it loose. Cut it loose. Saw this freshman here. 
No doubt. Freshman year, it's just go. I'd rather you see you just sling one full speed miss than a put one in the dirt. What's up, Jake? That was so quick, Dad. Hey, Devin, get in the end zone, man. We got to catch that at the half yard line. Doesn't do us no good. You got what I'm saying? Get in the end zone. Catch that thing at, in the end zone. Right off the bat. Two is 33 left hash. Two is 33 left right hash. After, right off the bat, hitting a deep one. Speed says. <laughs> This is good water. Is it good? This is a good mix. This is a good mix. Good, not too sugary, but not too flat. A little water down, but not bad. You know what I mean? I give that a six. Down and then it just kind of turns purple. You know? It's that water. No, it's it's over there, man. Some good Gatorade. It's about a six today on a ten. Decent. Yeah, it's two. It's two thirty. I think we we got off the field the field at um, about eleven forty five. Uh, a couple things going on today. We were helping the freshmen uh, get moved into their their fall dorm uh, over in the tower, so they had to get going. Everybody comes off of practice, gets showered, and uh, we have catered dinner or lunch up here in the facility and then uh, the coaches get right to the film, watch everything that we just did from uh, as an offensive staff and defensive staff. We watch all the team film. Um, so we had, I think we had about 76 scripted, whether it was fast Skelly, we had 16 reps and then we had, uh, you know, those 60 team plays today, which was a big chunk for, for our guys. It was the first day we put on pads, so we've got a lot of good film. It was another good practice, productive practice, a lot of things to clean up. Uh, but I like this group, I really do, how this team is, is coming together. Uh, they're working hard, learning to practice together. I think uh, it's easy to say, it's harder to do. Everybody's out there and wants to prove themselves, but we have to learn that we're not full go. Uh, and tackling each other. So I feel like, and my, uh, what I stress to the guys is that when you watch a good mature football team practice, you get a lot of work done, but there's not a lot of people on the ground. And so we're continuing to get better at that. I think the first three days, they've done a good job at that. Um, you know, we talked about it in our team meeting. We got a four day stretch here. That's really gonna test them. Uh, we went two days, took a day off, and then we've got four in a row here, all of them with pads, ending in practice six with full pads. So uh, the guys will come back here in about 30 minutes uh, for a special teams uh, group meeting. Uh, so Coach Gibson will get them in the team room and we'll watch all of our special teams drills and, and uh, the things we did good, the things we didn't get, get do well. Um, get a little walkthrough in, and then at 3.30, everybody goes to their position rooms, and we watch the film that we just watched as coaches that we have graded now, and we'll go through every uh, rep again and watch it and make corrections. And then um, the afternoon, which you'll probably see is uh, then the offense and defense. One group will go lift weights. The other group will do a walkthrough. We'll kind of go start to talk about tomorrow and get into some of the corrections from practice where we can talk about it in the film room. And now we can actually come back and walk through some of those mistakes. And then we'll get ahead on tomorrow's scripted uh, plays and start walking through those, the new installs. Uh, and then those two flip and offense and defense will do vice versa, lift and walkthroughs, and then leads right into dinner and then a t team meeting, special teams meeting, position meetings, and these guys will be here rolling until about 8.45 tonight.
Chris, where's Chris at? Yeah, yeah, Get in yeah, here, yeah, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> we could do a little Thailand driver experience like episode one podcast. <laughs> What you think? <laughs> the driver's side. We're coming up with some good stuff right now. All right, boys. We were going towards the scoreboard, and the left tackle tied in, I thought. Yeah. And then it was the interior guys, and then it was like team four. Gotcha. That's what we'll do. So two two groups. Mm -hmm. Team four, and then we come and we come back, and we go one, two, three, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, like in the interior, guy, that was like linebackers and maybe nose guards, and then out here it was like your DNs and your. I had that when Nick was here, but when who was here? Nick Thurman had that. He did? Yeah. Just like stretch you out? Yeah. It was you guys like, going back up? Yeah, we like a little extra. A little extra? Mm -hmm. I feel you. All, All right, right, boys. Yeah. Eight forty. Time to go home. So we had a good day. Hopefully you guys got a, a good look, inside look of what a uh, real day is here with Saluki football for the coaches, the players, training camp. It's really all day uh, football. Really, if uh, you're a football coach, you're a football player, that's what you love, man. That's what we talked about in the team meeting. These are the days that you really remember bonding, uh, great friendships, you know, forging together as a team. And so, I'll be right back out here at uh, you know 5:30, 5:45 in the morning, and we'll we'll do it all over again tomorrow. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. You got you seen that Russell Wilson like Broncos Nation? Left That's ride. right. That's how he does it every time. And he's like, no, do it, do a little Saluki Nation. Let's ride. <laughs> Saluki Nation. Let's ride. Saluki Nation. Let's ride.